All right, so this is once again gonna be a guide to the secret swim out of bounds for any percent in Atlantis The Lost Empire on the PS1. Now, I already made uh, one for this level, but I went really in depth in that one, like I tried to explain backups and whatnot, which made it nearly 40 minutes long. Which I assume not everyone is gonna have time to watch through, so I'm gonna try and make this one faster. So once again, you wanna start the level casually and just get to this point, uh, to like the first radio in the level. You you come from there, like you you literally can't miss it. And as I mentioned before, you wanna. Grab Kida, it should be possible with Milo, but especially getting back in bounds is much more difficult, if it even is possible, because I wasn't able to do it when I tried, but uh, yeah, so now hmm, I could probably show you uh, the clip on the other door as well, since in uh, the previous one I showed you how to clip on that door, which is a lot faster because you skip killing these snails and this little cutscene over here. But it should be easier to set up because you kind of just do that and there you go. Basically you like kind of trigger the door to open, then walk down uh, back to like that little space you killed the snails on and then just time uh, the jumps correctly and uh, you make it there but if you wanna see clipping into the other door then once again I will link the uh, other guide in the description whether this is gonna end up on Twitch or YouTube we'll see about that anyway uh, before I showed you uh, clipping from the left side or not not clipping but like jumping down so now I'm gonna show you the right side like uh, since I'm already making a second guide might as well just show some different ways of doing it so this should be pretty much the same you just line yourself up to, for like a run up and then do one two and there you go I'll get down here all the way over here as I said you should be able to get off the left side but it's it's just way safer the right side and it's not like it's really slower or anything and just a really slight angle walk into that so you like slide along kind of the invisible wall that's like attached to the door and you don't want to be too much to the right there because you can also trigger the door to open and that will extend the wall which will block you from getting past it so yeah now you essentially just follow the way uh, of like uh, how you normally would do the level but you would be swimming in bounds obviously but yeah you know, just staying away from the doors because as I mentioned in the previous guide it, they can like suck you in and uh, force you into a swimming animation with the timer and everything so it's basically like a soft walk or not really because it it kills you and respawns you but still okay get around the, uh, here now I'm gonna try and get a proper angle here should be something like this, I think. Should land me right on the platform where I need to go. Oh yeah, that also that can happen sometimes. I, I didn't even know it can happen here, but there are some spots where it can happen. But all you need to do, as you saw, uh, you need to like punch or shoot your weapon or something and you'll be standing on top of the platform and then you just follow it this way 
like like you normally would pretty much just swimming down below obviously get all the way around over here now okay yeah you can like stand in there or get launched to the air like I got in the other guide but yeah you basically just need and that's uh, like because Kida jumps a lot higher than Milo does so uh, I wasn't able to make to like jump out of bounds back in bounds with Milo maybe there is a way but I wasn't able to find it that's why uh, I would really recommend using Kida for this. Now, for the other part, uh, as I said multiple times in the previous guide, at like any point where we get back in bounds, you can decide whether you wanna do like you wanna risk more out of, out of bounds or you wanna just finish up the level casually. That's up to you. But uh, I'm only gonna mention that once here and that's right now and I'm gonna try and go through all the out of bounds from now on so okay let me try and clip into this door okay that was way too soon uh, as I mentioned in my other guide uh, you kind of just want to get a feel for these doors because they close like a tad too fast to like be able to uh, make any visual cues really but I mean that's up to up to you if you are able to find visual cues that work for you then then it's fine like uh, good for you but for me it's as I said uh, it's best to just get a feel for it. Anyway, uh, once you are standing right next to the stairs over here, uh, you wanna go like a bit to the left. So you get up here, jump around this wall. So you land over here, follow this way, jump straight, get, get around all the way around here now with a slight right angle jump down land on top of here now again in my other guide I like accidentally uh, fell down there when I wasn't planning to so I showed you uh, how to do it from there but uh, like ideally you would get over here then get an angle like this it shouldn't be too specific but you rather want to be more to the right than to the left because if you are like more to the left I think you can get clipped back in bounds which you don't really want so something like this should work kind of just wanna keep jumping until there we go see we got we are right next to this then we go this way, so we end up over here, keep going, jump back inbounds, grab the water, uh, open this door, okay, again would have worked if the game took my X input, uh, okay, yeah that's why I always say that this one is not too worth of the hassle because like it doesn't actually skip too much and like at this point it would almost be faster to just do it the normal way anyway when you get over here uh, you wanna line yourself up like like this with the wall move past the wall do like two jumps so this loads get around this door again one two this loads a bit to the right okay not too much so we don't fall down there and now you can just jump out and uh, 
just get to the lever over here because um, from what I tested uh, it doesn't appear to be possible to trigger the lever from out of bounds. Maybe if more testing is done it, there might be a way but I haven't been able to find one so I think it's better to just get back in bounds there and do it like that. Now you can clip out of bounds on any of these doors if you feel like it, but ideally it's best to do it on this one in particular, I'd say, because the enemy in this room is unloaded, so there's like not much that can hurt you. Okay, now ideally we want we would want to be to like creep on the other side so we can go that way right away, but it should be possible to get around here as well. Just keep as close to the wall as possible, because if we go more to that side, we would get, like, zapped uh, above next to the walls there. So kind of just stick close to this wall. Get all the way around over here. When you get, like, here you'll fall but don't worry you 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 can land safely over here okay now uh, let me do it like this basically just want to get behind those walls over there kind of like should be safe to just go like this basically under it until yeah there we go i even went a lot further than I had to. Then you stand like... you Make sure you stand like literally as close to the wall as possible. Because once you open your inventory, if it doesn't work, there is no going back. Because uh, when you close your inventory, you'll be falling through the map. And I don't think there's, there's a point to, to like save it there. Anyway, ideally you want to use D-pad for this, probably, and then just try and land. There we go, yeah, that, that would be, like, perfect, pretty much. But it's really risky, and I'm not even sure if this out-of-bounds at the end, like, saves much. Uh, unless you, like, do it first try. But, yeah, that's, that's like, the... Uh, all the out of bounds so we have for any percent in this level at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> developments are still being made on some of the strats, so it's possible it's gonna change in the future, but yeah, well. I've done this one in 13 minutes, so that's probably as short as it's gonna get. Uh, if you want more detail and like uh, pretty much everything and beyond on like what you should uh, be aware of when doing this specific out of bounds and like backups and other ways of doing it and whatnot then check out my in-depth guide that I made before this one I'm gonna link it as I mentioned in the description whether this is gonna be on uh, YouTube or Twitch or I'm just gonna put it uh, in the guides section on speedrun.com for this game. But yeah, that's gonna be all for this one. Uh, thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.